Meantime, tonight, friends and family of a Chicago State University student will hold a vigil in her honor on campus. Simone McKay was murdered Saturday night. Her family tells CBS 2's Jim Williams the young mother was smart, hardworking, and compassionate. Happy, you know, bubbly personality. The thick stack of photos is comfort, however temporary, for the overwhelming grief at this Southside home. As you can see, as evidence in our pictures, it's just always a smile. From baby pictures to snapshots of her adult years, they reflect Simone McKay's kindness and warmth she extended to everyone. Her aunt, grandmother, and uncle told us. If it looked like you were in pain, she was crying, but she was helping you, but she was still boohooing at the same time. McKay, 26 years old, was shot to death outside of her home in 96th and Forest over the weekend. I was turned around, I was upside down, and I had to stop and to focus and to stop crying just so I could get out the house in the car. So it was like someone had kicked me in the stomach or just shot an arrow through my heart. So much promise gone in an instant. McKay was close to graduating from Chicago State University with a degree in biology with hopes of going to medical school. It was a good fit for her because she was always helping people all the time. It was hard, it was difficult, but she was persevering and she was doing the right thing. A young woman who enjoyed doing her friend's makeup. She wanted to spread joy to others. Had two children, five and two. We just loved her, I just <laughs> loved her. Simone McKay's mother told us off camera in her words, my heart is fragile, but so full of gratitude. She and other family members say many people, including Mayor Emanuel, have offered condolences and support. Erica, no one is in custody. The family does not know who would want to kill her. Okay, Jim, thank you. Mm -hmm.